Hey, Robert Locke here. Thanks for taking the time to hang out with us today. The conversation we're going to have today go, is about how we raised our Better Business Bureau report from a C- minus to an A+, plus. about uh, twice over a 12-year period of time. Uh, we had the Better Business Bureau contact us and say that they were going to decertify us. And that's kind of uh, the, the code word for you have too many complaints and we're going to take away your certification and make you look bad on the internet because you got too many complaints against you. And the way they calculated it was like this. The, the, time, the, the time period was from 2000 to 2012. And they came to us twice during that period of time and kind of warned us that they were going to do bad. And, and what we did instead is withdraw our membership. Uh, and, and by the way, the, the certification has to do with paying them 800 bucks, but they, they basically are seen as a watchdog for our companies and the public relies on them and trusts them for information about how good a company operates or how many complaints they have against them anyway. So uh, during that period of time, we were threatened to lose our accreditation twice. And it was troubling because the public today goes on the internet and they look at the Better Business Bureau report and most of them think that's pretty important. So anyway, here's kind of how they measured things. Here's kind of how way it worked. They measure unhappy customers. Now, that, that means that if a customer has a problem, they go on and they say nasty things about you at the Better Business Bureau. And it's really not a forum to arbitrate or decide who's right or wrong. Every single complaint counts against you. And the way it works is this. It's based on the total number of complaints over three years. Now that means if you have a ton of complaints one year and not many complaints that the next two, they total up three years worth of complaints and their magic number is 30. So if you had, in, in Georgia now, if you had 30 complaints, uh, and we did twice in that three year period of time, and, and so that's why they were coming to us and threatening to decertify us or deactivate us or whatever term you wanna use. Now, we kind of fought that. We, we didn't think that was fair because we did 15 to 20 move outs a month. Now, a company doing one move out a month or five move outs a month, they certainly wouldn't have 30 complaints over three years. But since we were a larger company up in that 800 to 1,000 range, we were doing 15 to 20 move outs a month. Now, do the third grade math, and that means you have a total uh, of over 600 move outs in a three year period of time. So again, that happened twice to us. And so we said, look, we think that's pretty good because to have 30 complaints, it to have 30 complaints over a three year period of time out of 600 move outs amounts to about 5% of our tenants that were unhappy with us after the move out issues were all settled. Now, that's, that's, we thought 5% was great. We wanted to celebrate. We wanted to put it on our website and tell everybody what a great job we did at resolving move out disputes because if you can do, if you can have a thousand tenants leave and only 5% of them be unhappy with you, you're doing a pretty good job as a property manager. But apparently the Better Business Bureau didn't think so. And of course there are other online uh, reputation issues kind of followed the Better Business Bureau model, which was for us generally down, okay? So what do we do with it? First thing that we did is we tightened up the move out charging process. We actually went back from the package that we sent the tenant once they gave notice and how we did our move out inspection and our photographs and our letters and our total reconciliation after 30 days. We went through that and we, we'd learned a lot over 30 years, so we knew an awful lot. So we put a document package together and letters and forms and checklists and everything. In fact, you can download that um, and exactly how we handle move out disputes. You can find that on our website under resources called CYA for Tenants. And it's a whole list of documents we've developed over the years to protect us against the things tenants can do to you that can hurt your reputation and cost you money and create litigation. So that's a great place to go and, and you can find this move out package there. Now the second thing we did is that we went out to property managers in the marketplace that we knew around the country and we found a non-disparaging document. Apparently this is a document that other managers have come up with that a tenant signs before moving that says, if I'm unhappy with you, okay, I promise that I will never go to the public with a complaint against your company. 
So we tried that. We put that non-disparaging agreement together. And very candidly, it seems to be an American right to discredit somebody's reputation on the Internet because we couldn't get tenants to, well, we could, four out of five tenants would sign up, but we were doing 30 to 50 move-ins a month back during, the, the, during this time, and we had pushback. Oh, my gosh, we had tenants threaten not to move in the house if they had to sign this one document. So apparently, uh, it, apparently, it's an American right to be able to bash somebody's reputation on the Internet, whether it's true or not. And that's so with the Better Business Bureau and with the other Yelp sites and so on, because you don't really have a, an opportunity to sit down and prove them wrong. So every single time that somebody puts a negative comment out there on the Internet, especially with the Better Business Bureau, it's a ding against your accreditation. Whether it's true or not doesn't seem to matter. So, one of the, so we, we, we went back to the drawing board. We took this non-disparaging agreement and, and we reworked it and we got with Monica and we did two or three attempts to try to get something that the tennis would be okay with. And finally we came up with a solution. And we took that document and gave it to our team, people who were doing move-in inspections. Tenants had no problem signing it whatsoever. And in that document, they're promising to do a number of things that would protect us from bogus claims against us, both on the Better Business Bureau and on other websites. So every tenant signed it without fuss or resistance. So we went from no document at all to a non-disparaging document, which didn't seem to work very well for us, to this other document that Monica helped us put together. And that document, within a two-year period of time, we had an A-plus rating. And in 2015, when we sold out to NRT, the Better Business Bureau had given us an A-plus rating. And you can get that, too, with just this one document and this package off of our website of how to handle move-out disputes. So it took a little while because we had a lot of tenants living in houses when we came up with the document. It was very hard to uh, get them to sign it. But, but uh, after about two years, three years, a lot of those tenants had moved out. The ones that had moved in had signed this, non this, this document that we came up with. And we haven't had hits on the Better Business Bureau or on the, uh, uh, on, the public inter on the public website that disparages the company. Now, you can find both of these packages under, on our website under resources. There's a package of CYA documents for tenants. And you cruise down through that, you'll find a lot of things that will protect you from what tenants want to do to you and how they want to hurt you and sue you and so on. It'll help you out. One of the packages on that site, on that part of the site, is our move, managing move-out disputes. And another one is this document that tenants will sign that promise not to give you any grief on the public forum, but will come in and do it in a different way. So that solved a huge problem for us. It gave us an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. It'll work that way for you as well. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. We appreciate your time. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Crown on the Web. Thanks a lot.